hello all in this tutorial i will try to show you how to analyze the stability of an oscillator in cadence so uh, I'm, I'm using the same setup which i use for the transit analysis as well as for the pss analysis the only thing what i did is i introduced this i probe here in the feedback loop and uh, if we have a differential oscillator so you have to use a differential probe here i will also uh, explain very important mistake uh, which I have noticed most of the students do while doing the stability analysis of an oscillator. But let me first uh, set up the stability analysis, uh, then we can discuss about that also. So I'll just move the maestro view here. So I will first uh, go here, click to add analysis and uh, select the stability analysis, which is uh, this one we use. So start time may be some one micro and uh, so the stop time should be usually uh, very high so that we can see the impact of uh, any high frequency components uh, you know maybe because of some parasitics or some other noise on our output signal and then uh, everything i will keep automatic and i will select the probe here basically this one here i probe and then the local ground it's the here and uh, this is okay now, as I said that, uh, you know, I have noticed this mistake people doing that uh, they are doing this stability, uh, using this stability analysis option to check the stability of your oscillator. But it's not correct. I will also show it why. Uh, so the another stability option which is there, uh, which we use for the periodic circuits is this P stability. So I'm also going to define this to show you at the end why it's wrong to do the stability analysis using STB for the oscillator and you should use the PSTB. So here also I will use a similar one uh, milli and uh, around one gigahertz and uh, probe. I will set the I probe and uh, ground is this one. I will select and okay. So so I selected the uh, PSS uh, the speed stability and stability here and I will do a comparison at the end and see uh, what is the difference here. Just to highlight here that uh, this I probe. Uh, it's an ideal uh, instance uh, that means it does not have any resistance or capacitance therefore it does not have any loading impact on our output signal okay now uh, let us simulate it the difference between the stability stb and pstb is that the stability analysis which you might also know that i use it for the uh, doing the stability analysis of an uh, ota earlier so it's used to calculate the small loop uh, small in loop gain or phase gain or gain margin you know around uh, a dc operating point but in case of pstv uh, it performs a stability analysis uh, for periodic signals uh, on time varying time varying operating points which are varying basically periodically you uh, also probably have non linear effects in your oscillator which uh, the stability analysis does not concept that's why we need to choose this P stability for uh, doing the stability analysis of our oscillator. Now, I think the, uh, the simulation is over and go to the results and uh, dive plot main form. And I will plot both the results from the stability analysis and the P stability analysis, then we'll do a comparison. Okay, so P stability analysis, I will just uh, type this loop gain, I will select magnitude and phase and dB20. Uh, okay, and I will plot. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing is that uh, again I will go here. I will also do the P stability an analysis here. I will select this one, and magnitude and phase I would like to have and dB twenty. I would also I don't want to edit the outputs. Just plot it in the new sub window. Okay. Now I had both the waveforms here. Let me delete this frequency here. I don't want it here. I have both the signals here. Uh, this one uh, on your left is from the STB analysis, and on your right it is from the P stability, periodic STB analysis. Okay. Now let's one by one analyze both these signals, both these results. If you remember, for an ideal oscillator, the loop gain uh, at the oscillating frequency it should be around one. Okay. And uh, the phase margin or the phase should be uh, zero or multiples of 360 degrees. And now if you go here, if you remember, my frequency is around. Uh, 103.1 megahertz so i'll just zoom in here so you can see here 
in the waveform here, neither the GAN, the loop GAN, which should be 0 dB, it's around 69 dB, which is not correct. And also from the phase margin, you can see it's around 180 degrees phase margin also, and it should be zero or multiples of 360 degrees. Uh, based on this, it does not fulfill our criteria for uh, for the oscillator to be unstable. Okay, so that's why we conclude that this linear the linear stability analysis is not uh, good for a ring oscillator. Maybe for the LC oscillator, but not for the ring oscillator. Now let's go to the periodic uh, stability response here. So I'll go the similar way. I'll press V. V is for vertical uh, for this marker, and I will choose here the frequency which is the center frequency for me, 1.3.1 megahertz, and I will zoom in. You can see here the gain is almost like uh, zero dB, very close to zero, zero dB, and also the phase is also here around zero degrees. So this is the correct representation of uh, stability analysis for your oscillator if you want to do the uh, stability analysis for an oscillator. Okay, so in conclusion, instead of stability analysis, you have to use the P-stability analysis for ring oscillators, but you can use stability analysis uh, for uh, traditional feedback oscillators like LC oscillators also. Okay, just remember for, for, for ring oscillators or a VCO, you should use the P-stability analysis. Okay, thank you.